Hello, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com here with the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc once again. However, this time I do have the full and final retail version of the Xperia Arc. And as promised in earlier videos where we were looking at a pre-release, um, I said that we would take a look at the full version when it came and uh, do a proper unboxing of the retail. So here it is, as promised, there's the handset on top. Let's come back to it in just a second. Underneath, we have, battery's already been installed, so that would have been in that packet. We have a USB cable, which is a standard USB to micro USB connector. Um, unusually, the USB micro USB connector there has got a right angle plug, but uh, other than that, it is a standard cable. Then have the charger, which is a USB style charger, see with the USB socket on there. And then finally, I say finally, there we go, we have the headphones, or wired headset I should say. So we've got different earbuds for it, different people with different size ear holes. We have a four pole three and a half mil jack, one end with a length of cable, inline microphone with push button, no media controls, it's just a simple inline mic. And then the actual headphones themselves, which are proper in-ear style, sort of noise cancelling, if you like, um, headphones. I've used these with other Sony Ericsson handsets, and they are actually quite good. Well, among the best that you do get supplied with a, a new handset, I have to say. Um, there's the first hour leaflet, which basically is your getting started guide. And then you have your SAR information and declaration of conformity all the legal bump there as well. That's all there is in the box itself. We'll take a quick look at the handset on the front. I'll just peel that off. We have a 4.2 inch display which is 480 by 854 pixels. Really generously, generous size display there. Underneath we have three physical buttons. Um, Android handsets typically have four buttons on the long bottom. This only has three, so that's back, home and menu. On the side, we have the 3.5mm headphone connector. Nothing else on that side though. Bottom, we have an eyelet there for a lanyard and a hole there which is the actual microphone. So the right hand side, we have the dedicated camera button, up and down volume control rocker and the micro USB connector with an LED just above that which will indicate the uh, you know, charge status. On the top, micro HDMI connector there so that we can output everything from the screen to a large screen TV with an HDMI cable. And uh, one nice thing about uh, the Arc is that everything that's displayed on the screen will be displayed on TV. So that includes menus, everything, the lot. Uh, power button next to that, obviously for switching on, but also setting the device in and out of uh, sleep mode. On the back, 8 megapixel autofocus camera with a flash. Camera supports 720p video recording as well, which is quite nice. Geotagging as well with the built-in uh, GPS chipset. Large battery, but it is quite thin. Uh, so that's a 1500 mAh battery. And we have an 8 gig micro SD card already installed. And then the space there for our SIM card. Notice there, there is also a second microphone underneath the back cover with a little tiny hole there in the back cover. And the idea of that second microphone is to uh, help reduce the ambient noise when you're actually in call. So it does help to improve the call quality. I'll do a quick rundown of the specification. Quad band for GSM, dual band for HSDPA, 125 millimeters from top to bottom, 63 millimeters wide, and only 8.7 millimeters thick at the widest portion there. Um, really is, uh, it does feel like an exceptionally well-made handset. Feels really nice in the palm of the hand and only 117 grams, which is pretty incredible actually, considering the size of the handset um, and obviously what's inside. Um, to actually get it on, uh, it's 117 grams is pretty impressive. So 480 by 854 pixel display, 4.2 inch diagonal. Has a one gigahertz Qualcomm processor and uh, 512 meg of RAM. Not sure what the ROM is, I haven't seen the listed capacity for the actual built-in ROM, but the memory card socket will support up to 32 gig micro SDHC memory cards. 
uh, as I say, built-in GPS, Wi-Fi supporting 802.11bg, and uh, wireless end standards. Um, I think that covers much of the specification. That is obviously just a quick rundown. Do have a couple of other Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc videos on uh, on YouTube and on tracymap.co.uk, where I go into a lot more detail. Um, of the handset and actually demo of some of the more unique features of this handset including uh, the preview panes within email and some other bits and pieces so uh, if you want to see it in a bit more of a detail rather than covering it all again in, in just another video please do see some of the others that we have on there um, I will have a full review of this handset over the next couple of weeks so I'll be using it uh, as my main handset so that I can actually get to get a feel for it and have the review on that basis. But in the meantime, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash tracyandmatt or facebook.com slash tracyandmatt.co.uk. And uh, if you do want to ask us any questions about this or any other handset that we're reviewing, then please do so. We we'll always do our best to answer you. I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmatt.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.